Hey gang, Steve with Guitar Center. We're here at NAMM 2023 at the Yamaha booth. We're hanging out with Blake and we're checking out new CK Series keys. How you doing, Blake? This is the CK Series. This is the CK88 that I have right here. We also have a 61 note model, the CK61. The difference between the two, 61 has synth style keys, so it's kind of for organists and synthesis kind of people. And then 88 graded and weighted action is for more of a piano focused kind of person. Other than that, they're identical. The key differentiators about this product that makes it very cool is that it is a stage keyboard, so it has great piano sounds on board. Um, you, know, you know, nice piano stuff like that. But a cool thing about this product is that it can run on batteries. There's actually a slot in there for eight AA batteries. It also has built-in stereo speakers as well. In fact, a lot of times, in fact, that's what you were hearing right here is just the stereo speakers and they're plenty loud enough to do, you know, lots of stuff, to do rehearsals in a hotel room where you can have a singer come in. It also has an A to D input, which is kind of cool. So you can plug in a microphone into that A to D input, route it through effects, EQ, a noise gate, and do a rehearsal without having to lug, you know, a whole system in there to hear what you're playing. So it's very cool in that regard as well. It's also got a very nice one-to-one -one user interface. What that means is that one button, one knob does one function. You don't have to do a lot of menu diving. So the whole idea of this keyboard is it keeps you in the music and out of, out, out of like, you know, um, menus and stuff. It has a cool user interface as well where if I select this and I turn these on, you'll notice that we have these knobs over here. There's cutoff frequency and resonance, attack and release of the envelope generator, a drive effect that also includes rotary speaker. You notice there is a organ section over here. It's the, basically the same organ engine as a Reface YC, our little organ mini keyboard there. You also have two effects right here. Now I have it selected on the first part. So there's three parts. Each part has its own volume control right here. When I select part B, you notice that these turn green. So you know exactly what you're editing when you touch any of these buttons here. So you can see just like that. If I want to edit all three at the same time, hit all three, they all turn right. Now I can edit all of them. Basically how this works is that it's set up in what we call live sets. Live sets have up to those three parts. So some parts like this one has only a single part and this one's like, you know, electric piano. If I want to add a phaser to that, if I want to edit the phaser, I have the knobs right here to edit the, you know, right there really fast. Um, Again, here's a live set right here. This one is more like. You know, the French horn section, lots of cool sounds in this keyboard. It also has Bluetooth audio as well, so I can connect my phone, play background tracks that way. It's just a really versatile stage keyboard. Lots of sounds, lots of, of, of mobility features with the built-in speakers, battery power, lightweight. The story that I have been telling people is I've been, um, I played a gig last week and it was a gig where the piano last time I was there was pretty much unplayable and it wasn't a big pain gig. So I, you know, I'm going to take my CK61, the little guy. And just in case, well, the piano was playable, but I had to show it to my drummer friend. It's about 11 o'clock at night and I took it out. I put it on the hood of my car and turned it on and played the piano. And he's like, the piano's coming out of this little thing? Like, yeah, man, this is the piano. And then the lights in the apartment complex turned on. People were like, what's going on now? Because it's loud enough to actually... So it's it's really, really cool in that regard. I kind of liken it to sort of like a um, like a, a pocket tool, you know, like a Swiss Army knife kind of deal where, you know, you, everybody has those. And the, the benefit of having that is that you can do you know, work. You can screw things in or use pliers any place with a thing in your pocket. That's what this is kind of like. It's, it's, it allows you to play any place, anytime, all the time. It's just really cool product and it sounds great. Well, that's really cool. Really portable. Yeah. So you were telling me also that these things clock in pretty light in the weight department as well. Pounds on this one here and then about 12 pounds on the, on the 61. That's without the batteries. The batteries will add some weight to that, but like maybe not even a pound. Um, so super lightweight. In fact, the, the 61 is, I always tell people, you need to go pick that up. And it's like, it's so light. I really like the 61 because of how light and easy it is. And they both have carrying cases too. The 88 Note 1 has a wheeled carrying case with it and it has pockets for sustained pedals and stuff like that. 61 is like a backpack style case. So you can just, that's why I like that one. Cause it's. So for all of your car hood concert needs. Yes, exactly. For all of my, anybody that needs to have a concert on their car hood. That's the one. <laughs> okay, great, Blake. Uh, let's hear some of these great sounds.
It sounds really great. But what are you personally most excited about for people to experience when they get their hands on these? Well, the thing, I think the sound absolutely is a big, important part of it. Um, the weight of it. So the functionality of it, the control that you have in front of it. Um, and just the versatility of this. It's, there's lots of different sounds in here, lots of different ways to use it. It has an audio and MIDI um, interface as well, so you can connect directly to a computer, record directly into a DA uh, or a, a, a DAW. Um, and then having the, the A to D input, I think, is really cool. You can do a lot. I actually had a guy in here that wanted to get this as a, as a bottom-weighted keyboard because he has another product that he has on top that's a nor, kind of a different kind of a stage kind of thing, but doesn't have a filter in it. And so, I, so he said, I really wish I had a filter. And I said, well, you can go through the A to D input, and one of the effects in here is a low-pass filter. And you can assign things quickly to sweep the filter on. And he's like, that's really cool. So the ability to plug something into this and then sum it through the audio output is very cool. But the built-in speakers, man, that is so useful when you don't want to turn on your entire system to play something. You just turn it on and it's there. And then finally, you know, battery power, man, I, I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to have a small keyboard in a hotel room when I go travel and just be able to come in and play and make it sound good. And you don't have to wear headphones to do it. You know, 12 pounds, all those things I think really make this a really solid instrument, really solid product. Okay, there you have it. The new CK series from Yamaha. Check it out at guitarcenter.com or try them out at your local GC.